Well, I have never taken one of these off before. Uh, my other one's D13, something like that. So we'll set that up there for now. That is one thing. This other, uh, this other backing plate, even though it's, uh, oh, it sticks out further. Interesting. I guess I might have to machine the backside too. Um, it, it doesn't have the the flat or the hole or whatever drilled in it for uh, that little clamp there. So I have no idea how tight these are supposed to be or anything like that. I guess I can put that in there like that and use that leverage. Oh. Hey, how about that? normally want to uh, put a board down there. Also notice too, uh, it's not uh, it's not drilled or anything like that either. Of course, you know, it was only like 13 bucks, so I guess that's part of the reason why it was so cheap. So I have to machine this on this spindle uh, to fit this one. So basically I gotta I gotta cut this nub down get that on there centered, cut the rest of it down on that stuff, and then I can put it on the mill or whatever and drill the uh, the three holes. All right. I don't have anything to tighten it with there, so... Uh, I guess I can get a strap wrench. I'm not exactly sure how tight I should tighten it. If you notice, you can't even see through that. Let me drop it down and uh, show you what it looks like underneath. Nice and clean. Gotta love that, huh? Well, luckily it's thick enough. I can uh, basically more or less start over again. Um, I programmed it in as, as 2.18, which would have still given me about 20 thou. But because there's a 50 thou Z clearance, it uh, and I did a face instead of an OD turn, 
uh, it came in an extra 50 thou and went in and came out so it it didn't turn this shoulder accurately like I thought and I don't I'm pretty sure I can't put in a Z clearance of zero uh, so I'm gonna have to do it as an OD turn I guess uh, start over again happy joy All right, so I took a file to it just a little bit there to flatten it out because it had, uh, when it hit back here, it twisted it, so cut it in a little bit, um, which was about perfect. Anyway, let me, uh, so, so I put this on. I like the way it fits, and so I go to pull it off, and I end up smacking it against the uh, cutter there, <laughs> the insert, and break my insert. But that was the I think that fits pretty close huh oh uh, I can live with that <laughs> uh, no complaints with that whatsoever so um let's see I guess uh, I guess I'll change that insert not that it matters uh, but next up will be figuring out the bolt pattern and all that stuff and doing that on the backside.